Tomorrow we're going to meet my favorite YouTuber, Kelly Wakasa, and do a cold plunge off Coney Island. There you go, bro. Let's go! Oh, we just arrived. We got these DJI Pocket 3 to vlog with. We fly to New York in like an hour and a half, two hours. We were praying that they get here in time, praying to the DJI gods with this awesome move. And they came. We're gonna switch over to those cameras and say goodbye to using the iPhone and get to New York. What's up guys? We have a couple of crazy things going on. Yesterday, Dan surprised me with flights to New York. We're gonna fly there today at three o'clock. And the craziest thing is tomorrow, we're gonna meet my favorite YouTuber, Kelly Wakasa, and do a cold plunge off Coney Island. Tomorrow is gonna be meeting one of my favorite people that I've seen online for years. Stick around, come along on this crazy adventure and see me get absolutely freezing cold in New York. Anyone that knows me knows that I hate being cold, so here we go. I have to reorganize my bag. We're gonna leave in like 10 minutes. And I have all this stuff set up for when I take my camera with me. But of course I'm not gonna take my camera with me this time. I'm just gonna rip all this out. And I am taking with me some clothes and stuff. I'm gonna take my laptop so I can get some work done. And I think that's pretty much it. I just have to think about weight because I'm gonna have to carry this with me as well. I don't want it to be super heavy, but I think I can put the clothes and stuff in here. Hello, I've got my laptop in here. Got my pants because of wiggle doing the polar plunge, so I need to make sure I've got some swim shorts. I hate the cold, so no. I can't believe I'm flying to New York to do a polar plunge. Like, this is the funniest thing ever. Kelly, this is for you. What are you making me do? How's this audio sound? I hope this audio sounds great because I'm trying out the new microphone. And this camera is so cool because it like follows me around. So I can like get up over here and like take you guys around my office, talk to you when I'm like walking out the door and you're gonna follow me everywhere I go. So I'm really glad we got this camera and I'm super excited to take it on our adventures. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm just trying to fit everything in my bag. Well, your bag's way more full than mine. Alrighty, so we're level six, row E, space 25, just in case we forget where we are. Let's jump on this flight and head over to the Big Apple. So we just got to the airport. We've got like half an hour extra time, which is great. So then we can pop to Starbucks, be able to get a cup. We just went through TSA. The most annoying thing is that they didn't have anything for me to put everything in. So I had to put it all in my bag. The perks of TSA is so that you don't have to take everything out of your bag, but then you have to open it and stuff everything in it. So is it just the same thing? Who knows? I thought we went outside, but we didn't go outside on this one. Coffee. I'm so excited. I needed this and I got salted caramel cold foam. I haven't had this on a coffee like an Americano before, so I'm actually super excited to try it. Mmm, sweetens it up a little bit. I wanted something a bit sweeter than what I normally have because I don't know. I'm just getting hyped for the weekend. I'm going to meet freaking Kelly and it's just exciting to go and do something like so out of my comfort zone especially like even vlogging in public but I feel like it's so much easier with these new cameras and stuff we're gonna have a great time and we're gonna be confident this is so funny because of like I'm super insecure and I'm like so bad at being in public especially with stuff like this and this is a message that if you are thinking about doing this and you've never done it and you don't have confidence just know if I can do it you can do it because I have no confidence James, and I'm you doing can do it. it I'm doing it Dan has way more confidence with this stuff than me, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're doing it. It's just because I've been doing it longer. And in the words of Kelly, do what excites you. Guys, we're almost to the front. It's like we're getting on a ride. Like we are getting on a ride. We're getting on a plane. Plane ride.
We've made it on our flight and we are in the back row. I'm 38B and 38C. I just disconnected my mic accidentally. Oops. We are on our way, finally. Um, we can't recline, but I did discover the one bonus of having the back seat is that we can put our jackets and stuff behind us. So I don't have to worry so much about uh, hitting someone else's screen or anything like that, which is great. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go fly to New York. Um, I bought my laptop so I can work a little bit and I bought a sub so that we can eat that along the way because I'm going to be hungry when we land and we land at like midnight. We've arrived. We hope you enjoy your time wherever your travels take you. So we've made it here to Newark and we are about to jump on a train. We've got to get all the way over to Long Island City, right? It's like an hour and a half or so, but we did manage to get in like an hour early. So I'm super happy about that, which means that the journey isn't going to be too bad over there, I don't think. And it's nighttime, so it's going to be great. We're almost there tomorrow. Ah, cold plunge. <laughs> First bit of New York air. I haven't been to New York for years, actually. Not too cold, it's actually the same as Vegas, and I think during the day it's even warmer than Vegas, so that's great. I was thinking it was gonna be freezing, and tomorrow it is definitely gonna be freezing uh, when we get in the water. I'm not looking forward to that, but we gotta do it, right? So we're here at the bus stop. Dan was gonna try and get the train, but the train was gonna be taking us two hours and 10 minutes to be able to get there. And I didn't wanna wait that long. So if we get the bus, it means it's only gonna be an hour and 15 minutes. Boy, was I wrong. So we are gonna get the Go 28 bus. I'm not very good at public transport. So this is, this is a challenge for me. I wonder how much an Uber is. A lot. We'll have a look. Found our bus, let's get on it. It's like 10 minutes late, but that's okay, we made it. We got the bus, we found it. This is my first bus journey in like so many years, and we're all crammed on here like sardines because it's New York, and I don't feel safe standing up on the bus. It's scary, but it's fine. We got it. We just have two more buses after this in another hour and 20 minutes. The bus is falling apart. literally pulling a bar. So we got off the bus and I have no idea where we are because it was going completely the wrong way on Google Maps. And now we are, I don't know, somewhere north by Penn Station. No, we we decided, Penn we're going to Penn Station. And um, we've decided we're just gonna get the, uh, get the train because it's gonna be a lot easier and it's not gonna be nearly as crowded and it'll be a lot nicer. Because that was not a fun experience of uh, New York. So let's see if we can, find the train we even though it's a 25 like, minute walk it's 25 minutes yeah we've got a 25 minute walk to the train let's make it as uh, interesting and as fun as we can i guess snack break oh, close well we were going to have a snack break but then we ended up not being able to get into 7-Eleven, so now we're going this way and there's some like guy shouting and going crazy that was just ahead of us, but luckily he's gone. Yeah. Welcome to New York. Normally I'm really like intimidated by people being loud and scary and stuff, but I'm handling myself pretty well right now. There's cops and there's so many people around right now even though it's midnight, so that's nice. We're like 10 minutes away from the station. I'm excited to get on the train and get out of here. Let's hope the train is less eventful than out here. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can use that, that one. That was track four. That takes us to where we need to go. So we can use track four, the MJCL, and that will get us to where we need to go. I'm trying to figure this out, but I don't know if I'm 100% right. But I think I am. So let's get up here, get on this train, and get into New York City. We got this. We got our tickets. Exploring New York is a journey. Such a journey. Oh my god, it's so busy. This is it. That's it? Yeah. It says Long Branch. That was the NJC one, right? I don't know, babe. We're about to find out. I think this is the right train. Say train 7201. Why are you jumping on the random train? I think this is the right one. That one does say 7520. <laughs> it would say. Uh, we're trying to figure this out. I'm not very good at trains either. Drive train, right train. Drive trains. Stan's gonna teach me how to James drive. He's trying to jump on any train he sees. Yeah, why not? We don't do that. We just jumped on a random bus and it took us to the middle of nowhere, so you know. Part of right the journey. Bus. This is so confusing because on our phones it's saying that we have to get the red or the blue line but then when I'm looking at this thing the red and the blue line go completely the wrong direction and the black line takes you to New York so we've now asked somebody and now we're at Tret 1 and the next train's in like 15 minutes but hopefully this is going to actually take us to where we need to go because it's like nearly 1am here it's just going to be a nightmare to get to our hotel so confusing I have no idea how this works if you're in New York, come and save us because we'll probably still be at this train station going, where are we going? Uh, we are on a train. Whether we are on the right train, I do not know the answer to that. But we're on one. So hopefully this is going to get us to New York City. Get us to Penn um, Station. It's one o'clock in the morning. I feel like there's some interesting characters out, but luckily a concert just kicked out, so it's not too scary right now. And there's like a bunch of normal people on the train, even though they listen to country music, but you know. So yeah, let's uh, hopefully make it to Penn Station in New York. So they're doing track work at this time in the morning, apparently. So we've been sat at this stop sign for like the last five, 10 minutes. And he said there's two more trains ahead of us. So now we have to wait. So I don't know how much longer that this is gonna take. We're in for a long haul on this train. They only have one train track that goes all the way into New York now. Dan's got his laptop out. I'm just gonna play with this. So the train finally started moving. We're about five minutes away from the station and uh, I'm ready for bed. I'm actually really hungry now too. I don't know how Dan is coping because he hasn't eaten all day. I'm ready for some food or bed. If I can fall asleep right now, I'll be happy. But we have to figure out how to get to our hotel from the station. Hopefully there's still trains running. It is now 1.23 in the morning. Fingers crossed we can get there. Wish us luck. We got this. I mean, worst comes to worst, you just get an Uber and deal with it. It's so cool seeing like the skyscrapers and everything. I just wish that it was daytime so I felt safer because there's so many crazy people on the street right now. I just don't feel safe, but I mean, I just have to get used to it. There's some guy twerking at the taxi right now. What the hell? Can you tell that we are here in New York? Like what is happening? I just have to tell you guys that New York is like so interesting at one o'clock in the morning when you just land from Vegas. So confusing, but kind of interesting too. Um, we're trying to find some food and then we're gonna go get to our hotel. Totally forgot what New York was like. What a what an experience. So Dan made me walk into like this sketchy ass place and now we're right outside Madison Square Gardens again, which is where the train station is and they have halal food and this is what we're gonna eat at two o'clock in the morning. I'm feeling like I'm drunk in England again when I was 18. But this is uh this is cool. Let's get some street food and get the hell to the hotel. Just a little bit. That's good. Yeah, please. And spicy. So 
So I got 11 lamb euros here at Madison Square. And it looks so good, look at this. Oh my God. Uh, lost the tomato, it's got spicy and stuff. I'm so excited. Mm. So good. Let me take a bite. Needed this. First meal of the day. <laughs> Second meal for me. Technically first, where it's after midnight. Oh yeah. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. We got a two minute walk to the train and then we are gonna jump on that. We'll be on the home stretch. Almost there. There's so many people out. I cannot believe it's like 1.30 in the morning and there's so many people around. It's so crazy. What day is it? Friday? All right. Yeah, I get it. We're at 33rd. We gotta turn right and then we'll be there. This is Dan being a pro videographer trying to get the shot. Oh, he just did that whole thing for like 10 minutes and he wasn't even recording. Ready? We're here on 34th Street. This is where our train is gonna go from, right by Macy's. I said, let's go 33rd Street. And Dan was like, no, I wanna go 34th Street because Miracle on 34th Street, the uh, movie. Do you remember that? So uh, here we are, 34th Street. Let's make a miracle, guys. Make a miracle. So when you're in New York, the number one rule is to remember to look up because Everything is so tall here. It's crazy. Where's Dan gone? He's behind me somewhere. We're doing our own thing right now. Oh, he's doing his funny little walk. Guys, look at this. This is funny. Here he comes. Doing his little walk. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting the subway to our hotel. Let's see how it goes. You can tell that it's been a minute since I've been to New York because now you just tap your phone and you can go. Like that was never a thing. You used to have a Metro card and stuff. Yeah, we're going towards Queens. We are nearly there. We're on the home stretch and the station looks busy, which is good because then it's not just you on your own freaking out. So we have another drama. Apparently there's a huge delay on the f tram which means that we are unable to get that train to ours. And the next one that they want us to do is take the A, the D, then the F train, which means it's gonna be another 45 minutes at least, and we have to walk for like five more blocks. But now we're looking at Uber because, I mean, honestly, I'm over it. It's like, 2.20 a.m. and it's too late to be dealing with this stuff, right? 24 dollars. Yeah, let's just do that. 24 bucks, I can cope with that, that's fine. For peace of mind and just to get out, let's do that. Way better. New York has not been kind to us so far. Let's hope tomorrow is better. There's also a marathon and St. Patrick's Day on tomorrow. So I'm really hoping that tomorrow is a better day for transport. All right, we made it. It's gonna be so much easier. Thankfully, we are going to be at the hotel soon and be able to jump into bed. I wanna take a shower and relax. Some guy's taking his dog out for a walk at 2.30 in the morning. We are checked in and going to our room. Oh my god. I low-key have a fear of elevators and this one does not sound too exciting. Uh, that'd be fine. What number are we? 608, right? Oh, oh, four is that way, yeah. I was right, 608. 608, here it is. All right, guys. Real quick room tour, here you go. In here we have our bathroom. It is very deluxe. Wow, look at that. Checking out the new Osmo. And then through here, we have an ironing board. 
the ironing board if you need it. We have an iron right there. And then we have two beds, one for all of our stuff and the other one to sleep in. These beds look really small, actually. <laughs> they are tiny. And a bedside table and an old school TV. And then we have Dan. He is also included in this room. It is definitely one of the cheaper rooms in, Vega, uh, in Vegas, the in New York. Hotel. The cheapest hotel in New York. And for that, I'm going to bid you guys a good night and say thank you for watching this stressful video. And tomorrow we are going to go and see Kelly. So stick around for tomorrow's video. Good night, guys.